Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the opening ceremony for Korea University International Summer Campus 2016. We've been all looking forward to this moment for past six months or eight months. My name is, again, my name is Jeff Jang. I'm an Associate Director of Korea University International Summer Campus and the MC of today's ceremony. I'd like to start today's ceremony by introducing everyone who has joined us today. Uh, to begin with, please welcome the Vice Dean of ISC, Professor Jun Sik Choi. And we have a Professor Unil Wan, the advisory committee member. He's a professor at the Department of Physics. And next, uh, could I please ask Senior Director Mr. Song Su and ISC team come on the floor, please? Please, please, please. I'm sure many of you recognize some of our colleagues' faces because we've visited so many universities for the past six months to promote our program. And it was really nice to have met you in, at home university. And thank you for choosing Korea University this summer. And we'll be spending next six weeks with you to provide you with assistance and support. Since last November to this April, we met over 3,000 students from three universities from six countries, USA, Canada, Singapore, Hong Kong, Australia, and UK. And over the last two months leading up to today, we have been working around the clock processing over 2,300 applications, the largest applications ever, and preparing for your seamless transition to Korea University. I would like to recognize, acknowledge the universities that we visited and welcomed us, University of Nottingham, University of Leeds, University of Sussex, University of Sheffield. You can scream out when your university is called, okay? <laughs> this is not a moment of silence. And University of Manchester, University of Hong Kong. <laughs> I know there are 50 of them here. Chinese University of Hong Kong, and Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, National University of Singapore, Nanyang Technological University, Singapore Institute of Management. Hey, we visited it three times, okay? And UCLA. Yeah, now you're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. UC Irvine, USC, University of Washington in Seattle, Michigan State University. University of Wisconsin and Madison, Purdue University, Northwestern University, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. <laughs> yep. Uh, Syracuse University. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> McGill University, U University of Toronto. <laughs> Thank you. NYU, Queens College, University of Sydney. UNSW, University of Queensland, University of Technology, Sydney, University of Melbourne. The big increase in the number of enrollments reflects the hard work of our IC team. We'll continue to work with you and help you with any issues and concerns you may have. Please give them a round of applause. And now, could I ask all the ISE faculty members to please stand up and wave your hands. Please welcome them. This year we are proud, yes, we're proud to say that we have over 47 exceptional international faculty members, as well as eight outstanding Korean University professors teaching here at ISC. Next are our KU pre-college students. Could you please wave your hands? Where are you, pre-college students? Yes. We hope ISC gives you an idea of what college life will be like and prepares you for your freshman year. Thank you. Last 
not but least, we have over 1,800 ISC students here with us. Please give each other a big round of applause. I also would like to acknowledge our 28 Korea University student admin assistants. They're working with us to assist ISC students and faculty throughout the program. We also have 50 fantastic KU student buddy assistants who will be organizing various activities for ISC students. They will also help you with your adjustment to Korea University and Korea as a whole. I hope you will have an opportunity to create lasting, memorable friendships with your buddies and with each other. And now, I'd like to invite Professor Jun Si Chue, the Vice Dean of ISC, onto the stage for welcoming remarks. Professor Chue. Good morning. 안녕하세요. Since, uh, since I was appointed as Vice Dean last year, I've been wondering what my job really was until today, substituting the Dean. <laughs> and his honorable job of welcoming students and faculty members to Korea University. So let's see if I can do my job. Welcome to Korea University International Summer Campus 2016. Thank you. Thank you, and I, I thank Dean Son Hyuk Kim and his busy schedule. So we are, uh, we are celebrating the 13th anniversary, and now KUISC is bigger and better than ever. Uh, we had a momentary unfortunate and unavoidable downshift last year due to MERS, as you know. But now I'm happy to announce that Korea is now MERS-free. <laughs> and thank you. And although we have a few mosquitoes flying around, we are also Zika-free. <laughs> and free from several other, thank you. So in a very, you're in a very safe place. So in this beautiful summer campus, I'm proud to say that we are welcoming more than 1,800. And, and in fact, I just learned that it's 1,870 as uh, of right now, students from over 200 institutions in 30 different countries. And of course, 55 world-renowned scholars. This is a whopping 38% increase from last year and the biggest enormous in 13-year history of ISC. So you're part of the record-breaking time, so please enjoy as much as we suffer from overwork here at ISC. <laughs> I would also like to thank, again, the professors for sticking with us uh, under the threat of virus. And having done such an incredible job in keeping the quality of the courses. Uh, to match the world-class students, we offer more than 120 courses condensed in six-week period, strong internship program, and volunteering opportunities. We attracted extremely competent students from all over the world. And as you know, many of our courses, course credits are transferable uh, to your home institutions. KU pre-college program is a rising star of ISC, attracting talented high school students. Some of them were accepted to top institutions in previous years. This year, we have revolutionary changes to meet the changing students' demands and their expectations. Launching today, we have a new four-week track option a concentrated cultural immersion program, and a new credit-based tuition schemes. So more work for faculty and staff members, but more choices for students. I would also like to tell you 
that Korea University is also looking forward to its first year of international winter campus starting this December. So please keep an eye on us as we grow. Spending six weeks at KUISC is not just about attending courses and taking credits. It's about being part of one of the strongest and largest social network in Korea, being KU alumni. There is famous expression in Korea, once KU alum, forever KU alum. So, I would like to encourage all of you to take advantage of the many opportunities to network and interact together. To facilitate these interactions, we have planned a number of day trips and cultural events for students and faculty members every Friday. Uh, you will have first-hand experience with Korean language and culture that you, that you cannot get anywhere else. So please jump into them and don't be shy. I would like to take this chance to thank the mighty and capable team of ISC staff members who basically run this program. In fact, this speech I'm reading is actually written by one of the uh, staff members. <laughs> Except for this part, okay. So I'm running out of words to describe their dedication and passion for this program. So thank you. On behalf of the Dean and the committee members, advisory committee members of ISC, and on behalf of Korea University and its half million alumni, I once again welcome you to what is going to be the most exciting, enlightening, and memorable summer of your time. I look forward to meeting some of you in my Introduction to Brain uh, class, and certainly all of you at the graduation ceremony six weeks later. So study hard, eat well, and sleep tight. If you need any help with anything, uh, don't hesitate to see me or professors or any of the faculty uh, staff members who smiles at you. Thank you. 감사합니다. Thank you, Professor Che. Um, he mentioned briefly, but he will be teaching Introduction to Brain Science. Uh, now, as a representative of ISC faculty members, I would like to invite Professor Thomas Lancaster to come up to the stage to also give a welcome speech. Professor Lancaster is currently teaching at Emory University, and this is his second year with us with the ISE program. During the ISE program, he'll be teaching Introduction to Comparative Politics and Introduction to American Politics. Let's welcome Professor Lancaster with a round of applause. Good morning, everyone. Let me promise you, I did write this speech. <laughs> As a scholar and teacher, I study institutions, particularly social institutions. And I ask questions about why we choose the institutions and what are the consequences of our social institutions. That's part of what political science does. And as a political scientist, I try to think hard about questions of how we people organize ourselves. It's that organization is why I come back for my second year at ISC. And I'm happy to speak not on behalf of the faculty, but as a representative of the faculty, to simply say, welcome to ISC. And while you're here, give some thought to how we are organized and the consequences of that organization. You're hearing a great deal right now about all the people and the enormous amount of work that has gone in to prepare for you to be here and for you to study and play and eat and sleep while you're here. That does take a great deal of work and we greatly appreciate all the work that's done. But keep in mind that same organization and the positive consequences of that is why the faculty continue to return as well each year. 
So we do thank you and all the organizers for the hard work that they do. But as a faculty member, one of the things I want to simply suggest to you as a student is to think about who's in the classroom with you and why we're here as well. You're fortunate to be able to study with international faculty of world class. That is part of why I return, because my colleagues are world class scholars and world class teachers. You are very fortunate to be a part of that, but please understand, they are both scholars as well as teachers. They have specialties, and each specialty is why we're called professors. Because our job is to profess. That is to share with you not just the subject matter, but to share with you how we think about our specialties, our disciplines. We're doing the same type of thing that you're doing. We're sharing with each other, we're speaking in English as a lingua franca, and yet English is not the native tongue of all the faculty members. As faculty members, we come back because ISC is dominated by a sense of hard academic work. You are here to study hard, to work hard, to do your reading, to think, but more importantly, you're here to pursue your educational curiosity. It's not just about grades or credits. This is an opportunity for you to investigate, to satisfy your curiosity. Hopefully, many of you are taking courses that are completely outside of your area of, of specialization or your desired focus because you can satisfy that curiosity with you and while you're here. But as we just heard, it's not just about hard academic work. There's also a social component to operating within institutions, and ISC is an institution. It's a program that is based around some structure. And as a faculty member, one of the most important structures that I think is important and one of the consequences of operating within ISC is of an academic nature, and that includes academic integrity. Be truthful, be honest, and do the work yourself. But at the same time, share with others the excitement you have for what you're studying. This to me is the beauty of the institution of ISC, that we're all having individual experiences. Take the opportunity to share your curiosity with somebody else in the program, particularly if they're from a different country or a different culture. That is as important as what goes on inside the classroom. Social interaction is one of the reasons and one of the consequences of a well-run ISC. Take advantage of the field trips. Take advantage of the extracurricular activities that are being offered to you. Get out of your room for more than just a classroom, but also work hard. It is that social, personal, and academic aspect of ISC that is one of the reasons why I decided to come back, and I hopefully think that if you take advantage of the entire situation of the structures of ISC, you'll have a very wonderful summer. Welcome to ISC. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Lancaster. It's time to hear a speech from the students now. Uh, we have our ISC student representative to give a short welcome speech. Let's welcome Nikki Michelle Spuddle, and she's from University of Exeter in UK. She's first year majoring in business. She has a strong passion into Korea and big advocate of KUIC. So let's invite her on the stage and hear about her motivation to come to K KUIC 2016. Please. Welcome. Hello everyone, my name is Nikki Sprodel and I'm so honored to be here today. 
Firstly, I'd like to introduce myself a little bit. I was born and raised in Hong Kong with a British father and Chinese mother. So from birth, I've been exposed to two very different cultures. And being in an international, culturally diverse place, just like Hong Kong, I've had the privilege to have an insight to many different cultures all over the world, including Korean. We all have our own reasons why we are here, but something must have inspired us, must have motivated us to join this international summer campus. For me, it was the burning desire to be submerged into the Korean culture. Over the years, I've noticed so many similarities between Chinese and Korean language, which only fueled my curiosity towards Korean. And as I was spending those long hours watching Running Man wasn't enough, I needed to learn everything about the language here. If you ask me what I hope to achieve here, it would have to be knowledge and experience. The knowledge gained from our courses, the knowledge gained from being immersed into the culture, but also the knowledge that we gain from our social interactions with other students. But also being here in Korea University is a memorable experience in itself. It sounds extremely cliche to use a quote in my speech, but as a great Nelson Mandela once said, if you speak to a man in, his own, in a language that he understands, that goes to his head. If you speak to him in his own language, that goes to his heart. So one of the many reasons why I am so keen to learn Korean, to be able to connect with people from a different cultural background on a personal level. Because when you're learning a new language, it is not only a new skill, it's a new culture. I can safely say that all of us here have a common goal, to better ourselves in this program. No matter if it's in science, humanities, or a new language, we all want to achieve the best of our ability. While achieving the best in academics is so important, it is truly important to experience Seoul. We, as ISC students, should take full advantage of the Friday field trips, as it will give us a full experience of being here in Seoul. And looking at what they have planned for us already, we truly are given the opportunity to see a different side of the city. Ranging from a temple stay to an all-day trip into Seoul, the options are there for us to grasp. And on top of these field trips, we have the choice to be part of the cultural immersion program, offering taekwondo, cooking, and traditional music instrument classes. It is all there for us to take. So to wrap things up, I am so excited for all of us to be here today on a journey together. For all of us to better ourselves and to the best of our can, to be in a best place like Seoul. <laughs> so fellow ISC students, let us make the next four to six weeks memorable. Take on every opportunity we can, conquer every challenge, and have the best time of our lives here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. Uh, I'd like to extend a big thank you to the representatives for their welcome speeches. And now uh, we will have Ms. Jung Min No on the floor. She's a director for Center for Gender Equality, and we'll talk about its role and effort for the prevention of sexual harassment or abuse on campus. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, announcement refers to any action. That okay. Welcome to Korea University. This is my pleasure to be here today, and nice to meet you. My name is Chung Min No. I'm a psychologist and a, working as a counselor at the Center for Gender Equality. Well, the gender equality is quite a hot topic in, Korea, in Korean society nowadays. <clears throat> I'm here to introduce to you our center, and I want you to know about our school regulation governing gender equality at Korea University. The president of any university in Korea has a legal obligation to prevent sexual and gender-based harassment, also discriminations on campus. All universities are obligated by law to carry out an annual prevention, education, on sexual and gender-based harassment, also discriminations on campus. This orientation aims to inform you how to deal with the sexual and gender-based harassment, also discriminations on campus, and whom to contact if you have kind of question or problems. Here, or here is the order of orientation. 
First of all, I will tell you about the code of conduct gender policy according to our school regulation. And then I will show you a short video clip about the definition of sexual harassment and sexual violence. After that, I will inform you about the Center for Gender Equality where I'm working. I think, uh, you know, I handed green brochure uh, already in, your, in the package. I want to make sure if you, all of you have kind of this green brochure in your package. Please check it, and if you don't have one, then please come over to our center, and we can also provide you this brochure. I'm saying about this brochure because in this brochure, there are some very useful informations which you might need it during your stay here. So please keep this while you are registered at Korea University. Korea University has code of conduct gender policy. The code, of, the code principle is Korea University does not discriminate against the students, faculty members, or staff based on sex in any of its programs or activities, including but not limited to educational programs, employment, and admission. Korea University also complies with the regulations that protect individuals from discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation, as well as on the basis of gender identity. All students, faculty members, and staff at Korea University should ensure that women and men have equal rights and development opportunities at the university. Here are our code of conduct gender policy. Number one, the interest of both genders must be optimally served at all levels and in all functions. This includes equal representation as well as due consideration of any specific gender interest in all working contexts. Number two, nobody may suffer negative consequences due to their sex gender identity or gender transition. Number three, each individual's dignity and integrity must be respected. Sexual and gender-based harassment and discrimination are violation of human dignity. Number four, at the university, written and spoken language should express equal treatment of women and men while maintaining precision and elegance. Korea University has a set of regulations to ensure protection against sexual harassment and sexual violence. Here is the definition. We are going to see the short video clips about the definition of both uh, items, sexual harassment and sexual violence. Uh, please uh, let us show the video clips, please. Harassment refers to any action that takes place in a work, employment, or academic setting in which a person takes advantage of his or her status to use sexual words or actions that make the addressee feel disgusted or sexual humiliation. Punishing or causing disadvantages when the addressee refuses to follow such sexual actions or requests also falls under sexual harassment. Therefore, sexual harassment is not simply sexual mocking, but a sexual tormenting or insult that reflects the relevant people's relation of power. According to the Enforcement Decree of Act on Equal Employment and Support for Work-Family Reconciliation, sexual harassment can be categorized into physical sexual harassment, such as suddenly hugging someone from behind or touching certain body parts, verbal sexual harassment, such as lewd jokes or sexual metaphors concerning one's appearance, or pressuring someone to pour a drink during office dinners. Visual sexual harassment, such as displaying pornographic photographs or pictures, or purposefully exposing or touching certain body parts, and other sexual words and actions, which according to social norms, 
cause disgust or sexual humiliation. Sexual violence is any action in which one takes advantage of the difference in strength to infringe upon another's sexual self-determination against the other's will. The concept encompasses not only rape, but also molestation and sexual harassment. From the viewpoint of sexual violence, not only physical violence or threats that demand sexual relations, but also sexual advances or attempts, psychological abuse, and verbal insults also apply as sexual violence. The law regulates only genital-oriented crimes accompanied by violence or threats, such as rape or indecent assault, as sexual violence crimes. But such sexual violence crimes, according to the law and sexual violence, must be carefully distinguished. Sexual violence must be understood to widely include both psychological and physical violence, because the kind of sexual violence that most frequently takes place within the university is not sexual violence crimes, but sexual harassment. Okay. Harassment refers to any... So now is this stop, please? Okay, thank you very much. Go back to the slide, please. Okay. These regulations are based on the fundamental assumption that all students, faculty members, and staff should treat each other with respect. This does not mean that interpersonal relationship or relations should be purely impersonal, distant, and formal. On the contrary, friendly and relaxed personal interaction also between women and men is and should be a normal part of everyday life at university. Nevertheless, the regulations stipulate definitely that sexual harassment and discriminations are prohibited and will be not tolerated. What shall we do if we feel sexual Sexual humiliate, sexually humiliated or often did with the sexual charged behaviors. Maybe someone might think, should I just ignore it? Or am I just, am I too much sensitive or overreacting? Even what should I do if I get disadvantages? All kind of questions could be come to when someone experiences like sexual harassment. But we should uh, do first as follow, clearly state how I feel and demand to stop the action, and please discuss about it with the Center for Gender Equality. And there is a kind of case like, you know, not just you, around you, the friends or, you know, person around you could have a victim, could be a victim of sexual harassment. So what would you do? That is a kind of very important point. So let's watch the video clip to know how we should do as a third part. Please. Please, the video clip. Is it not possible to show us this, the video clip? Sadly, okay. many sexual harassment, sexual violence cases are buried because of the perpetrator's threat to never tell anyone, an acquaintance that may as well abet in the crime by advising the victim that this will all stay silent if you only hold it back. When sexual harassment and sexual violence become something nobody knows about or shouldn't know about, the victim's trauma increases, and the human rights of the university will be increasingly violated. Therefore, even if you are not a direct victim of sexual harassment or sexual violence, you should not sit idly by and look on. You must know that surrounding people play a crucial role in finding a solution to sexual harassment and violence, and take a more active approach. If a victim is your neighbor, you must, above all, listen to his or her story and be supportive. Even the smallest attention and consideration is enough to give strength to the victim and escape from the aftermath of sexual harassment or violence. 
even for the perpetrator, refrain from expressions such as, I doubt it, or I knew it, and be wary of making hasty conclusions on the situation based on his or her usual behavior, social status, or activities. Above all, it is dangerous to set out to solve the problem yourself. It is best to help the victim consult a counseling center without fail and file a report. Okay, go back to the slide. Well, Korea University has an on-campus professional counseling center. We call it as the Center for Gender Equality, CGE. The CGE seeks to maintain an atmosphere free of sexual and gender-based harassment and discrimination while providing active support to students, faculty members, and staffs. The center is also committed to creating an atmosphere of trust and respect that is essential to a healthy work and academic environment. The CGE is committed to responding promptly and effectively when it learns of any form of possible discrimination based on sex or sexual orientation as well as gender identity. The CGE responds to reports of sexual harassment, including sexual violence, as part of its effort to stop this harassment and prevent its recurrence of possible sex discrimination. An individual who has questions or concerns regarding post possible discrimination based on sex should contact the CGE. All members of Korea University can visit CGE to request the information or advice, including whether certain conduct may violate the policy. Seek information or resolution or file a form or complaint. If we need more details of questions about sexual and gender-based harassment or discrimination and all about regulations, please call or visit the Center for Gender Equality anytime. If you want to contact us uh, by internet, you can visit our website and leave a message, or you also can visit us too. You can contact us when you simply need information or questions about the regulations, or when you need counseling services, or when you want to report a case, anytime you can contact us. Our location is on the first floor of the Dongwon Global Leadership Hall, and we are, at, I think, is the same building of this uh, Foreign Affairs Office. Sometimes, you know, if you are a foreigner, sometimes you may not be sure whether you have been sexually humiliated or offended with sexual child behaviors, because it could be, you know, kind of simple misunderstanding due to cultural differences. But in, case, in this case too, the counseling and supports are always available at the Center for Gender Equality. You know, maybe you are so excited because out of your home country, and you are expecting to have a special experience whole, during whole summer. Yes, it's kind of, you know, you know, the natural thing because you are expecting that. But, you know, according to uh, my over 10 years counselor experience, I want to tell you two points of, uh, because of the safety. Of course, you know, the safety is kind of, well, my mom was always staying to me every day or when I call her, then she's always telling about, you know, be safe or something. But what I want to say is kind of another dimension because every year I experience kind of cases uh, because of, you know, sexual harassment or violation things. You know, in Korea, of course, it's kind of, you know, total different culture maybe what you experienced before. What I want to say here, two uh, points is our night culture and drinking culture is quite different. Maybe, you know, in Western countries, they drink just a little alcohol during whole night, but Korean, they like to drink and they like to offer the drink, the alcohols with more 10% alcohol in it. Just they drink so much, but just please check your 
condition and how much you can take the alcohol because you just follow their, their you know, follow their uh, style, then maybe certain t times you lose your consciousness. It happens sometimes. It's so dif dangerous. And please don't go the place where you don't know the, exactly the geographic. Please go with your friends or somebody who can take care of you. Because the new places, you, don't, you never know who are going to approach you or tell you or give you something. Of course, the Korea is very safety uh, country, so you don't have to worry about because uh, you know, you know the, our policy is kind of settled down and it's very safe. But everywhere, like worldwide, in Korea, there is a, some part, places which is kind of dangerous. So please, during your stay here in Korea, so don't go by alone, just foreign places where you don't know exactly. And please keep just your condition when you have chance to drink alcohol. Please control on yourself, please. Don't lose uh, your consciousness, please. In case we don't give you direct help, then we could refer you right person or place. So if you need any kind of help, please don't hesitate. You can contact us by phone or email, as I told you. I wish you have a great time here in Korea, and thank you very much for your attention. 감사합니다. Thank you, Ms. No. So the best way to uh, make the most of this center is not to create any situation where you need to go there. So don't do anything to make her busy, okay? Thank you. Everyone, for your time with us today, uh, we'll finally watch a couple of video clips. The first one is that we just made to promote a program on Facebook. It's a one minute long on ISC. And the second video clip is the uh, three minutes long of our flashbacks on our promotional tours. So let's watch. Cool, hey?
Thank you. Thank you very much for attending the opening ceremony of ISC. This is the end of the first part of the ceremony, and there will be separate orientations held for ISC faculty members, students, and pre-college students. So, and after lunch, we'll gather up here again at 2.30 for the second part of the orientation. ISC students play, remain seated until uh, faculty members are leaving. Then you have a space. Please come forward and uh, fill up the seats. Okay? So could I please ask all the professors to make your way to the floor to... Just one second, just one second, just, just one second. Sorry, sorry, I just forgot one, one thing. We have um, camera crews and the news reporters to take a picture of us. So, because, please, please, one more second. Well, just photo session, sorry. So let's do, let's, let's do something Korean. When I count on three, uh, you scream out, uh, make your fist, and scream out, fighting ISC 2016, OK? <laughs> Uh, let's get this done in one time. All right? One, two, three, fighting! Okay, I knew this is going to be the first try. Okay, uh, we're gonna do one more time. Uh, just scream out as hard as you can. One, two, three, fighting! Okay, one more time, one more time. Uh, one, two, three, fight! Thank you. So tomorrow, Song Joong-gi will see your face in the newspaper and contact you because you're the descendants of the, the son, okay? Thank you, thank you. Just stay seated, students, and please, professor, make your way.